Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is April. I am a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end and front end of cosmetics, formulation, and all things skincare. So if you're interested in something like that, definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about all the myths that cosmetic chemists don't want you to believe about skincare products. There's a lot of things out there that have been made popular for whatever reason that, you know, the majority of consumers have believed about cosmetic products. And today I want to talk to you guys about that. I hope you enjoyed the video because we'll be spilling all the tea today. So the first myth I want to debunk is that chemical free claims are legit. There's nothing like a chemical free product. Literally every product has a chemical. Water is a chemical. Boom. I know you guys are like, wait, what? Yeah, water is a chemical. Liquid and gases are also chemicals. Anything that's listed on the back of a product, which usually water would be the first thing you see in a product, is a chemical. So don't believe the lies. Nothing is ever chemical free. Number two myth you've probably heard is that if you can pronounce an ingredient it means that it is not good for you and this is absolutely false this is actually rude like I'm offended as a chemist very offended about this this is not true at all whatsoever every chemical has one two three I mean thousands of names depending on what you're looking for a lot of chemicals have a trade name and an IUPAC name or inky name for example vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid and I'll list a couple other names that vitamin C is called all chemicals are named based on their composition. So whenever you see an ingredient that's hard for you to pronounce, just do a quick Google search and it should tell you what the chemical is called in plain language. Number three myth that you probably heard is that all natural products are better for you than chemical products. This is again very false. Actually natural products are less stable than chemical products. The FDA has actually placed a few restrictions on some natural products like color. Natural colors tend to be very unstable in formulations and tend to break down pretty easily. Certain essential oils and extracts contain compounds that could be irritants or will break down over time to form irritant compounds. All right, so number four myth that you've probably heard is that parabens are bad for you. Now, this one is such a big issue i've heard time and time again everywhere from everyone and their mom that parabens are bad for you and i don't blame them this is something that has been you know going around and around for a while now and i sincerely don't judge anyone that feels that way the thing is cosmetic products almost all cosmetic products that at least have water in them need preservatives that are broad spectrum which means it protects against bacteria yeast and mold parabens unfortunately unfortunately are broad spectrum and can protect against all three microorganisms. So it's kind of hard to not use parabens to be honest. All of these speculations, beliefs about parabens started from a 2004 study that showed that parabens were found in uh, tissues of breast cancer cells. I've talked about this in my video, which I'll link up here. I talked about how those studies were very inconclusive and didn't really give enough closure as far as like, were these parabens also found in normal tissues? The guy that actually came up with the report mentioned that he's never really said that parabens cause any type of problems or anything. The FDA has a cap on how much parabens can be used in a product. Usually you can put more than 1% of preservative in the system. There's been laws enforced to make sure that scientists and chemists are not going overboard with these chemicals. So honestly, parabens are not the enemy here. Like anything, be careful with it. Don't overuse it. I, for one, try to products that have phenoxyethanol as a preservative or sodium benzoate or any other preservative that's not always just parabens. Just trying to mix it up so you're not constantly exposing yourself to one thing which could be true for anything else in life right anything that's overdone can be a problem so again parabens are not the enemy the fifth and last myth i want to talk about is that the fda does not regulate cosmetics again like everything else we've talked about so far this is false surely the fda doesn't regulate cosmetics as much as it regulates pharmaceutical products or even medical device products but they're surely regulated by the fda the fda does prohibit the marketing of products that have been adult treated which just means that is not the right composition or misbranded which means it has false labeling claims the fda definitely has their paws on our cosmetics just as much as pharmaceuticals are definitely on there however it is the duty of the manufacturer to make sure that all of their cosmetics or skincare products are safe and good to use for example my company and every other skincare company gets audited once a year just to make sure that you're following all standard operating procedures and you know you're not 
I don't know, making batches, huge big batch in like a very unsafe environment. There's audits and these people will literally not pass you if you feel anything honestly in an audit. So they're on it, but it is the responsibility of a manufacturer to make sure that they're following those guidelines and they're monitoring all of you know the production process and making sure that every branch of the company is doing what they can to make sure that those products are coming out safe. Customers will be quick to sue a company if they have some sort of skin reaction to their product. So companies are very much aware. That's why we have stability testing. We have testing for the ingredients once they come into the company. We have QC, QA. I mean, we have so many any things set in place to make sure that that doesn't happen. I hope I've been able to convince you that a lot of these myths are not true and that you do your own research and you're not just believing anything that you read or see on the internet. Yeah, I think that covers it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly always appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my videos. It means everything to me. It truly brightens my day. Make sure you like the video, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm always here to answer them. If you're new here, thanks for joining the family. I really appreciate you being here. We're gonna have so much fun. And yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, the fifth and last. Make sure, you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. No energy. Comment. So. Comment if you have. <clears throat> no energy. Oh, fuck. Can you like not look at me, please?